your salt addicted ass went keto so you could consume more salt. Your life is a lie. Today we talk about salt consumption on a keto diet and I'll throw you high carbers a bone. How much salt should y'all consume? Because I know I'm a scientist, Scientologist. So there's a lot of weird opinions about salt. I can't believe how wide the gamut spreads. Some people who are just like, salt is poison. Look, it, it rusts the cars when you drive in the winter. What's on me? It was just dirt. It wasn't a giant bug trying to kill me. So the fruitarian hippies are like, look, it rusts car metal. Imagine what it's doing in your body. <laughs> so there's that side of the fence. And then there's like the keto evangelists who are like, oh, you need so much salt. You pee it all out, just pour it on there, pour it in your water. Then there's some people who are just like, I like salt little salt to taste why are you freaking out about it just yeah have some and others are like we need it in certain exact amounts but you have to bless it leave the water in moonlight for three minutes then drink it spit it out and then drink that you're freaks so i can only give you my experience with salt on a high carb diet i have too much salt i start getting swollen ankles cankles that i can press in and they stay in and then they slowly come out like there's an imprint of my thumb and it's like what the hell is that adrenal fatigue insulin resistance swelling of edema like facilities too much salt can make you puffy in the morning i notice it if i have too much it's like oh i was starting to up it a bit to see where my limit was i reached it puffball in the face area it's like yeah that's too much some people just way overdo the salt if you eat at a restaurant you're overdoing it i don't know why they salt the food so badly like so much salt in every restaurant meal it's ridiculous is there a man walking i hear a bicycle wow he's tony for my camera homies is this good content where'd he go oh if only i knew more yoga poses i could get out of the way just for my camera homies i know they're curious i'm on the panasonic gh5s with the Voigtlander 10.5 mil, Tony 0.95, but we stopped down to 1.4, because 0.95, like am I ever in focus? I doubt it. We should really stop it way down, brighten up that stuff, you know what I mean? See more of that love back there. Motherfucker. So pretty much every restaurant meal has like five teaspoons of salt. I don't know how they even fit it in. It's just, it's so hyper delicious. You're like, oh wow, this is so different. It's because they add way more salt than you ever would. And it's like, wow, yeah. And then you're so thirsty after, you've overdone it. But I do believe there's dangers of under consuming salt too. You can naturally get enough sodium if you do the celery juice and stuff like that. And you're having seaweeds, you could get away with it. but. It's an easy way to just hey, sprinkle on a little salt and you're more hydrated with some salt. You drink ocean water, you die. But a little bit of salt, it's the percentage, it's a mathematical game that you'll never win. A good little barometer for you. I don't even know if that's the word. If you ever eat a meal and you're super thirsty within an hour or even two, you either overdid the salt or underdid it. Raise your hand if you've ever had a fruit meal, or just thumb up the video, if you've ever had a fruit meal that thirsted you. It thirsted you. You're thirsty after having watermelon. You threw off your potassium to sodium ratio. Fruits and veggies, super high in potassium, low in sodium. There's only like a couple that are high in sodium. Celery, spinach, tomatoes, kind of. They taste salty at least. Swiss chard, oxalate city. I don't mind it. But if you ever got thirsty after watermelons because you overdid the potassium, your sodium got low, you're peeing out stuff. So you gotta up that, try, I've heard people salting their watermelon. It's like, oh, now I feel better. Try it, I've tried it, it's kind of tasty, not bad. When it comes to keto, I'm seeing some weird recommendations to overconsume salt, like so much salt, I get it. When you're on a keto diet, your insulin is super low and then your adrenals don't, don't quote me on any of this but your adrenals don't produce enough aldosterone to hold your sodium in the absence of insulin. So like you need some insulin to hold your salt basically. So their whole plan is, okay, we're low insulin, we're peeing all our salt, let's replace it. Whereas I say, just bump up that insulin, eat enough carbs in your one meal a day. 
and then you spike that insulin a small amount and then you get to retain your sodium and you don't have to over consume it. I just watched a video by Keto Camp and it was like a bunch of tips on how to do a keto diet and in it, which amongst the worst stock footage B-roll I've ever seen in my life, it was irritating to my nervous system. He said, consume two teaspoons of salt a day. Two teaspoons. Do you have any idea how much salt that is? I was working my way up. I'm at a quarter teaspoon of Herbamare, which is like 374 milligrams of sodium. I don't know exactly how much salt that would be. Probably half a, half a quarter of a teaspoon. It's an eighth. Mathematicians. How y'all doing? Now, I'm not saying I have the perfect balance right now, but for the most part, I feel pretty hydrated. I eat my giant meal. I'm not super thirsty after it. And I consume a quarter teaspoon of Herbamare. That's it. And I'm on a keto diet. I don't have a ton of carbs. I make vegetable juice. I'm under 50 grams of carbs, but I have my celery, cucumber, lemon juice now. I removed the ginger. It's too hot. It's too ass hot. So like that's a ton of potassium and sodium right there naturally occurring and then I have my big roasted veggies and meats there's sodium and potassium in that and then you just need a little extra like common sense use common sense you don't need to trick the system and like oh I need a bag of salt and I need to salt my water it tastes terrible but this is what the books told me to do follow your guide your spirit guide in there your inner broccoli man listen to him what would he say if something is disgusting, you're overdoing it. If fruit is no longer delicious, you're on too much fruit. You're eating way too much. Stop mono-mealing four meals of fruit a day. It's too much. Your, your body's telling you, like, I don't want this sweet anymore. And then your only saving grace is celery. You're chewing celery sticks like a scrub. Who was that? A dog. <laughs> I think it's just bad science with the keto and the high salt. There's something off with that. It's never right, and I tried it on the carnivore diet, and I'm up in the salt, so much salt. I forget the exact amounts, but it was like half a teaspoon in my water in the morning, and then another half a teaspoon, and the meal was so salty, and I was so thirsty all the time. I'm craving that carbonated water for some reason. I don't know what the deal, I could not get enough of that stuff on the carnivore diet. Are you the same? The Perrier, it's just like, it's something, you need it. I don't know, the carbon dioxide offsets some of the acidity, or it adds acidity, I don't know. <laughs> but it's needed, and I don't crave it now on this balanced keto way, so this is the way. This is the way. I gotta tell you, this heavy-ass lens on this dinky-ass tripod is causing me problems on this grassy hill. We're having problems here. So I don't think you need this freakish amount of salt. I know there's some carnivores out there not eating any salt, so I don't know where I stand on it. I feel like we need some. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't even know but I feel pretty hydrated on a quarter teaspoon of Herbamare. That's all I really know. And a bunch of natural celery, sodium-wise. <laughs> God damn it. Sun stars. Where are they? Oh, the sun stars. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me know down below what your thoughts are on sodium. How much do we need? Or do you just not think about it? It's like, I just like salt on my food sometimes. Why are you doing this video? Let me just live. Is that you? How dare you? I think we're done. Thanks for watching the video today and thumbing it up. You're gonna thumb it down? I possibly saved you from a myocardial infarction or dehydration in the desert from over salt consumption. It kills so many people every day. The only reason you would thumb it down is because you sleep on a salt bed and you pee on yourself. It's the only thing I can think of that makes logical sense. Because you're not making any sense right now thumbing this video down. This was a masterpiece. I'm out in nature here. The background's kind of blurry. Cinematic glory over here. What if we did stop it down largely and then brought it back to a friendly, this is the shutter we're supposed to be using for my camera homies, 50th, 24 frames per second, we would still need to stop it. What is that at F? That's only 
What the hell? That felt like it was down 15. Does this look good? Are you gonna leave? Thanks for watching. Thanks for buying a vegetable conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.